Dancing started as kind of like a bet with myself where I was like, I bet you can't write a song that is poppy and catchy as fuck, choral and wholesome, and also heavy as fuck. That one's another one that, that you can just kind of rock out to. Um, mm. That one's another dance, another fun one. So it was, it was a hold my beer, watch this moment. In the intro, I was sort of given a really basic guitar part and I I turned that into my own melody. One of the rare occasions you show up to a studio and this producer's like, that's too simple, we need to make it more complicated, so. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of uh, suspended chords, stuff like that, um, just to spice things up. One of the things that's sort of common uh, on this record is that these songs are, uh, are not written from a pop sensibility. It's a very upbeat, easy, accessible, and a plug-in and play. It's a, it's a good representative of the album as a whole. I think this one probably gets the closest to a pop song on this record. It starts with a really hooky kind of a keyboard line. Uh, the guitars are, they have a nice big heavy sound which is sort of indicative of what the infamous is about, I think sonorically speaking. Sonorically? Did I just make up a, a new yeah. word? Yeah, strange thing. It's I think it, uh, it makes good use of the female voices in the band. You can hear my background vocals on, on quite a bit of, of this particular song. Mm -hmm. So it was, a fun, it was fun to record this one. It definitely turned out really, really well. And she, she nails the song. It's, it's beautiful. And I can't wait to play it on stage again. We have played it live once at the Rec Room. And that was our last concert before COVID. And it, it, oh my God, the crowd reaction was like insane. One of the things that I've noticed about the writing, he comes from the point of view of, you know, as I say, kind of progressive rock and, and heavy guitars and, and lots of big, loud drums and that sort of thing. But, uh, but there's a real melodic sense about it. And this song actually has a fair amount of that in it. Really interesting kind of, for me anyway, uh, melodic twists to it, so. But it also had a bit of 80s in it, you know, with, the, with that synth. So I was like, I'll put a lot of chorus on my guitar um, I think Rob really challenged us when we were playing in the studio. Um, you know, I'm, I'm used to doing homemade recordings with bands and, you know, you sort of play what you want to play and do your own vision and there's no, not usually anybody there saying no, do it this way, do it that way. Um, I can see why some people wouldn't like that, but I think it really makes, makes it for an interesting experience. You've got someone who knows what they're doing, who says, try this out, try this out, and he really pushes us to, to create the best album we can. You know, Daniel has an idea. And then I have my idea over top of that, and then Rob gives feedback, and then I we go back to my idea, and then Daniel decides if he likes our ideas, and yeah, that's that's basically how the album was formed. So the music video for Dancing, we had a girl come dance with us. Her name is Elsie English, and she's just a, a lovely human being. Uh, she was so fun to work with, so easy and accommodating, and she, I'm not a dancer, <laughs> but she made me feel like more of a dancer. Um, her and Joey Bothwell, uh, an old film school dance teacher of mine, they both kind of, at very separate times in my life, they both kicked my ass to the point where I could be in this video. I wasn't supposed to be. I was supposed to be just in a cameo at the end with everyone else, but I kept having actors bail on me. So I just said, fuck all of you, I'm gonna do it myself because I know I won't fuck it up. And I didn't. Um, the video on this one is really, it's, it's different from what we've done before, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Um, all I had to do was show up and have a good picnic and, you know, <laughs> we ate really well. Um. <laughs> and the video is very sweet and colorful and it was a really strong first step. And it's actually, it, it's got more views than all of our other videos put together. And I'm hoping that uh, only goes up from there. The way I like to think about it, the original album, the first album was 
had a lot of black eyeliner. Uh, Dancing with the Fire has more colorful blue, purple, you know, something you wear to a rave.